Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm up here tonight representing the folks you see on the slide behind me. Uh, we spent the summer working with the city of Syracuse to develop an early warning system for water infrastructure problems. Broadly, in the United States, water infrastructure is starting to show signs of its age. There are about 240,000 main breaks annually nationwide. Those breaks cost about $13 billion to repair. That number is expected to more than double to 30 billion by 2040 as systems continue to age. Syracuse, New York is a microcosm of this problem. In Syracuse, there are about 180 main breaks per year, or about one every two days. On the extremes, Syracuse has two options. On one extreme, they could continue to replace mains or fix them as they break. On the other extreme, they could replace the entire system over time. We spent the summer working with them to develop a list of the highest risk mains such that they could do targeted main replacement. What's the, what's the problem? What is the impact of this problem beyond the financial? Well, imagine waking up in the morning and not being able to take a shower. You start dri your drive to work and you see something like this. In, in Syracuse, just last week, there was a main break that, it, that resulted in 24 buildings on the Syracuse, Syracuse University campus losing water service. Water infrastructure has a real impact on everyday life. So how did we get the data to solve this problem? We received from the city of Syracuse data on where water main breaks had occurred over the past 12 years. In combination with that data, we also had information about the main itself, its material, its age, its diameter, as well as the geology that underlied it and the soil surrounding it. We then used this information to try and predict whether for a given main it would break or not in the following three years. Ultimately, what we delivered to the city of Syracuse is a list of risk scores by block for every main in the city. We also have road ratings for, that, for those blocks or a rating of the quality of the road above the main. The Department of Public Works is responsible for the roads in Syracuse and uses the road rating to decide which, may, I mean, which roads to replace every year. The idea now is that the Water Department and the Department of Public Works could work together and identify blocks where there is both a risky main and a road of poor quality. How well are we able to predict these, actual, these main breaks? We're particularly interested in being able to accurately predict which mains will break amongst the top 1% of mains as Syracuse has limited resources to do main replacements. Syracuse has about 5,000 blocks total, so that top 1% makes up about, five, about 50 blocks. In Syracuse, over a three-year period, we, we generally see about 10% of blocks have a break on them within a three-year period. So if you just chose 50 blocks randomly, you would get five where you would, you would observe a main break in the next three years. If you look at the top 50 blocks in our model, you'll find 32 blocks, which is about a six-fold improvement over what you would get with a random selection. Ultimately, we're interested in being able to expand this model beyond Syracuse. So the main break that you see here actually took place in Cleveland, Ohio earlier this year. We're excited to see what our, what our information can do for Syracuse in the short term and for places like Cleveland in the long term. Thank you very much.